Well, tonight, new details in the death of a 22 year old in Saluda County. There was an autopsy today on the body. The man had been shot to death. His body was found next to a pond over the weekend. The Saluda County Sheriff's Office says a hunter discovered the body of Zani Cyrus on Highland Farm Road in Mineta just after 11 Saturday morning. That area is off Paget Pond Road, about four miles from the Mineta drive in. Nick Neville is at the Saluda County Sheriff's Office with how the Cyrus family is reacting to this newest information. Nick? Yes, Dondi. So Brittany Cyrus, one of Zani's cousins, says knowing how her cousin died is easing her mind a bit, but she's not going to be fully at peace until they find the person who did this and charge that person. After his body was found by a pond on a little known dirt road over the weekend, the Saluda County Coroner's Office says Zani Cyrus was shot to death. The Sheriff's Office says he was shot seven times, and investigators believe he was murdered on this road. It's mighty peculiar. It's, it's not too many people that even know that road. Willie Morris, who works at a farm about a mile away from where Cyrus's body was found, says most of this land is family owned, and the roads aren't well traveled. It's a tight knit community, he says. And while he didn't know Zani, he knows his father. Well, he's a pretty good fellow. You know, I've been knowing him for a long time and stuff. Mostly, I know all the Cyrus is just about anyway, you know. And, uh, but this is something that never would have thought would have happened in a million years. Brittany Cyrus, Zani's cousin, says she's more confident today that someone will be held accountable for his death. On Monday, she made this plea to the community. I know people don't want to talk. But the only thing we only thing we keep hearing is gossiping, gossiping from left to right. People could call it, you could snitch, rat, whatever. It, that that right there shouldn't matter when it's dealing with a child that lost his life, was still growing and had so much to look forward to. At this point, the Saluda County Sheriff's Office has not yet identified any suspects or motives. As for a timeline as to when Cyrus was killed, Saluda County Sheriff Joshua Price tells me he believes that this happened sometime between 11 on Friday night and 5 on Saturday morning. Reporting in Saluda, Nick Neville, WIS News 10.